Hello there and welcome to this video which looks at the creation of pseudocode and turning that pseudocode into a Python program. So here we have question 31 which states a manufacturer produces car windscreens. The machines which produce the windows are not completely accurate and sometimes produce windscreens which are slightly too wide to fit in the particular car. You may assume that the windscreens are never under width. So that means that the car windscreens when they get produced are never under the width provided. Tests are made on a sample of windscreens. In each case, the width of the windscreen is measured and they are all in millimeters. Design an algorithm using pseudocode with the following inputs, the required width, the number of windscreens to be sampled and the width of each windscreen in the sample. The outputs of the program should be for each windscreen found to be over the required width. You output the windscreen number and the width of that windscreen. The program should also output the total number of windscreens sampled, the number of windscreens in the sample which were of satisfactory width and all outputs should contain a suitable message where helpful. For instance, if we put in 1320, which is the sample size, we put in seven, which is the number of samples to be done, so the number of windscreens, that should produce the data provided like this down here, 1321, 1320, 1320, 1322, 1320, 1320, 1320. And that means that the first one, 1321 is over width, and the fourth one, 1322, is over width because we're all checking these uh, these items, these pieces of data against our required size, which is 1320. We tested seven screens in total and five of them were satisfactory. And this question is worth six marks. So the first thing that I would do is I would look to see, can we take in the required inputs. So things around here. So that is the required width. And there's my required width variable. It looks like the data provided is all whole numbers. The number of windscreens to be sampled. And we need the width of each windscreen in the sample. So what we need to do is allow the person to enter the number of screens and then ask the user repeatedly the same question that number of times. So let's take some inputs for these then. Now in pseudocode, when we set a variable, we initialize it. We use the word set and I'll say set rec width, set required width to input enter required width. I'll also ask them to input the number of screens. Enter the number of screens to be sampled. So this first variable required width will hold if using our test data, 1320. The second one will hold the value of seven. And now I need to get seven entries into my system. So to do that, because we've provided with a set amount based on the number of screens that we're going to loop, I'm going to use a for loop. It is a static loop. So for i equals zero and i is a local variable. So from zero to num screens. Now being a typical computer scientist, I use, I'm used to working from zero, but what you can do as well is you can work from one. If it's easier for you to remember that, then that's absolutely fine. Now, if you did work from zero, then you'd have to minus one to this variable here. So you'd have to go from, let's say we put seven in num screens and that hold, held the value of seven. Going from zero to seven is gonna loop eight times and we don't want that. We wanna loop exactly seven times. So if we go from one to seven, then that will loop exactly seven times. So we're okay using one here for i. Now what we can do is we can 
create a variable for our width and ask the user to enter the width in here. Now I'll use indentation so you can clearly see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to set the width variable to whatever the user inputs. Now you'll see I've put input, enter the width for screen, close speech mark, comma, I. That's concatenating two variables together, or a string and a variable, should I say. So enter the width for screen, and when I is 1, it'll say for screen 1. It'll loop around, and I will change to 2. It gets incremented, so I is then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, then 7, using our test data. So once the user has entered the width, I need to check if that width that they've entered is greater, larger, than the required width that the user's entered further up. So I'll, for that, I'll use a selection statement. I'll say if what you've just entered is greater than the required width, and if it is, then what we're going to do about that? Now I've said here output the over width windscreen, the position of the screen that are the order in which you put it in so that might be one to seven in our using our test data and then you've got the width of the windscreen that the person has entered now what we also need to do is when we find a windscreen that's over the required width we need to count these up so i'll create a new variable over width and what i'll do is i'll increment this every time we find an over width windscreen i'm going to say set over width to equal over width plus one. Okay, and that adds one to it every time. End my if statement there, and then I'll say next i. And that increments the loop and takes you back up until we reach the terminating condition, which is the number of screens. So now what we've got is we can loop through all the screens, add them in, um, get the user to input them and then check if they're over width and then output that. So a couple more outputs then. Total number of screens tested and we'll just concatenate that with the number of screens variable. We also need to output how many satisfactory screens we've got. So to work this out we know the sample size which is num screens so that's the total number of screens we tested num screens and we know how many were over width so we minus over width from that okay probably wrap these in speech uh, sorry in brackets and that's it so what we need to do is just double check that we've done everything here design an algorithm using pseudocode so we've got the required width the number of windscreens to be sampled the width of each of the windscreens in the sample the outputs for the program should be, um, yeah, so we should output the number for each windscreen found to be over the required width. The number goes with it, the width of the windscreen, which we've done over here. The program should output the total number of windscreens sampled there, and the number of windscreens in the sample which were of satisfactory width. So that's that one. That's that one down there. That's in there required width that's that one there sample size the width of each one once it loops around so I think we've got everything we need there so if you were going to mark this out of six you've got the initialization and both inputs so this and this gets you one mark so that's the declaration and the initialization of your basic variables. For the loop, you also get one mark for that to the correct number of loopings. The correct output in the loop as well gets you a mark. And also the increment of the over width gets you a mark also. Then you've got the total number of outputs there gets you a mark and also calculation of the satisfactory screens gets you a mark as well. So that's where the six marks are awarded for this question. In the next video, we're going to look at converting this pseudocode into a Python program. 
So look for the link and join me there.